Mount a fractured fatigue specimen onto the stage under the spring-loaded clamp. The specimen should be roughly centered and in line with the camera. Turn on the LED lighting using the dial at the base of the camera. On the desktop, open Webcam Companion, which will be used to take a close-up picture of the crack region. Select the Capture icon on the far left. Verify two-dimensional mode is active by clicking the 2D icon. Let's set the image resolution to 1280 by 1040, which is likely the default. Finally, maximize the window. Rotate the camera to orient the image on the screen. Ideally, the specimen edges are parallel with the image frame. Use the stage position dial to adjust the field of view and focus to a certain extent. The silver ring on the camera is used for fine focus. After some trial and error, you should have a well-focused view of the entire slot and crack region. Once content with the on-screen view, click the camera icon at the bottom to capture an image to file. When finished, close the program using the menu bar or exit icon. Returning to the desktop, open the Burrsoft image measurement software, which will be used to measure the crack length. Select Open Picture from the drop-down menu and navigate to the folder containing the recently captured picture. Select the image to open and maximize the image window. We'll use the measured thickness to establish a conversion factor from image pixels to millimeters. Select Set Conversion Factor under Measurement in the menu bar. Select a point along the top edge and then press SHIFT to orthogonally move to the lower edge to select a second point. With the cursor positioned over the last point, right-click to display a pop-up menu and select End Calibration. Enter the measured thickness of the specimen, in this case 9.525 millimeters. Click OK and then OK again. With the conversion factor defined, we can measure the crack length. Select a point along the edge, then while pressing shift, select a second point along the crack profile. The linear dimension is automatically displayed, although very small. Proceed to measure the crack length at several locations as specified by the E399 standard. Again, pressing shift forces an orthogonal move relative to the first point. After measuring at all the recommended locations, use the Windows Snipping tool to capture a picture of the dimensioned image and save to the desktop. The save feature in the software yields an image with unreadable dimensions, hence we recommend the Snipping tool. Exit the program when you're done. When finished, remove the specimen and turn off the LED lights using the dial. Before leaving the lab today, save and or upload all images of the dimension specimens to share with the entire lab section. Mm -hmm.